Hi everyone. So I'm graduating in June 2021 and I want to apply for the role of design technologist. So in this video, I would like to share what are some areas I'm focusing on to develop some skills so I'm better prepared and eligible for that role. Without much ado, let's jump into the video. I would like to thank everyone for watching this video and supporting this channel. We have 147 subscribers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's overacting. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's jump into the content. So the three areas are creative coding, which involves like generative design, then software development area, and third is machine learning and data science develop skills in this area and for the next few months for creative coding my main focus is to finish these two books which i am currently reading first is gender to art by matt pearson uh, this book uh, this book is quite insightful about how uh, different generative artists are using different algorithms slash approach in their artwork and it gives some insights about their scripts uh, they deploy so i really like the whole uh, approach of this book and second is creative coding hotshot so many interesting projects i can't express uh, like few of the projects if i would i want to share are like using processing and uh, adding one library which converts text to sound. Then also how to work with Twitter API, how we can use processing with Arduino and develop some interesting tools. So I've read a couple of books uh, on, on processing, but I currently, I'm, I plan to finish these two books because it has scripts, good approach, which I can deploy and experiment. Also, I found this uh, GitHub repo quite useful because there is some amazing artwork and all the scripts are shared. So my plan is to uh, decode it and understand the approach which the artist used to create that work. A uh, few other libraries I'm interested to learn and deploy is d3.js. It's used for data visualization. ml5.js, which is built upon TensorFlow JS, p5.js. I'm currently attending a workshop on shaders. It's quite interesting. I'll share the results and some learnings in another video for sure. So overall, most of the explorations uses JavaScript. Second is software development. Two really good courses, uh, which I found online, were this one by Long Nguyen, C scripting and plugin development. And uh, another course um, by Harvard, taught by Jose. And this goes really deep into the approach of how to develop your own scripts, your own plugins. So I plan to finish those. And then I found some good resources on developer forum and MacMill website. If I find time, I want to do some courses on LinkedIn learning on full stack, full stack developer. And also some experimentation with 3.js, Node.js, React API. So most of the work, uh, involves using C Sharp and .NET framework. Third area is machine learning and uh, data science. If you would have asked me four months ago that I'm, if I'm interested in machine learning, straight no. But after attending Digital Futures Workshop uh, in June end, I grew some interest and then I attend 
attended another workshop in july where we went deeper into gain then i felt like this is going to be a next big thing it my speculation is it might bring a paradigm shift in the creative approach and also i really like the type of results and creative explorations i can do with machine learning so i'm really uh, interested in going deeper into this aspect so i started reading this book deep learning with javascript it's almost uh, 30% done so i want to finish that book really good explanation with code highly recommended and i want to finish this workshop videos well it's uh, they go through different type of machine learning algorithms and it's very hands on i really like that approach and third is care deep lizard by kiris and the reason i want to do this course is like they have tutorials on using flask uh and also tensorflow js so my main goal of uh getting more knowledge in this area is like how can i use can tensorflow js right, for art, artistic explorations and creative explorations in architecture so that's the goal people i want to work with fingers crossed uh, i want to work with robert utani from titico studio the seed of importance of software development was planted when i interviewed him i would highly recommend to watch you to watch that video he he gives some amazing insights second is tanislas chelo from space maker ai i read his medium articles watched his thesis video like four months back and i was like whoa this is amazing i want to do something similar so that's how at the time i i didn't have any single knowledge of machine learning so i was like it must be very difficult now when i got more exposure now even i created one gain video it feels it feels like even i uh, i can deploy or experiment something similar next is inq in end to human great people in ac they are like disruptors in i used a hyper interface it's amazing if i get a chance i would definitely work with them nathan miller of proving ground tanian bolojan of non standard studio i i watched his workshop videos and also on his website he has some amazing work of using um, machine learning and how he deployed in architecture clifton hanes of testfit io no no currently working at autodesk i would definitely apply at this firms for sure and also i'm open for opportunities where i can develop some tools using machine learning and if i get some more responsibility i'm definitely open for those opportunities too so that's it one one action item if you have any other resources which you think would be useful please share in the comment or if you want to comment about my diy haircut you can do that as well that's it from my side thanks for watching